Hi kiddos. Today we have another selection by Miss Harper. Um, always trust your librarian, obviously. Little Joe Chickapig has been on the library shelf for a while. I keep looking at him like, ooh, that looks weird. Jammed it to me today and I was like, always trust your librarian. So we're going to read Little Joe Chickapig, a story about following your dreams by Brian Calhoun. Like any good story, it starts with the definition of chickapig, noun, chickapig, plural noun, chickapigs, an animal hybrid that is half chicken and half pig. I think that's almost a compound word. Little Joe Chickapig lived on a farm, a farm full of chickapigs and chickapig charm. For Little Joe Chickapig, still just a boy, the farm full of chickapigs brought him no joy. He dreamed of new places beyond the fields, sailing vast oceans with swords and with shields. He hoped he'd find the courage to follow his heart. But how could he do it? How could he start? The Chickapig farm was all that he knew, with its crops and fields and cows that pooed, and birds and bees and horses and goats. Why was he dreaming of castles and moats? That's a little sword. That's not going to help him plant things. Joe had an old grandpa, brave and bold, a chickapig hero who broke the mold. Joe had an old grandpa, a sailor of seas, a chickapig hero who lived so free. But how? How did he go? How did he do it? How did he know to follow his heart against the tide? How did he do it? The young chickapig cried. I'll tell you a tale, his mother said. I'll tell a tale before I put you to bed. Grandpa back then, he was scared too. Grandpa back then did not know what to do. Grandpa had heard a story told of a great big bear who broke the mold. The bear was tired of striking fear in all who saw him, all who came near. The bear had learned quite a skill to heal the sick and those struck ill. A doctor he became, my son, to heal the wounds of everyone. And those who used to run away now stood before him every day. The bear saw patients one by one, never again would anyone run. The bear became a friend, you see, to every creature beneath the trees. But how? How did he go? How did he know to do it? How did he know to follow his heart against the tide? How did he do it? The young chickapig cried. Classic chickapig. The bear found courage from the strangest place he'd heard of a mouse who went to space. Why is this cow following them? I'm disturbed. This cow should not be following them everywhere. The mouse, she traveled to the moon and Mars. The mouse, she traveled amongst the stars. Her ship, it soared from Earth to space, but in that world, she found her place. But how, how, how did she know? How did she do it? How did she know to follow her heart against the tide? How did she do it? The young chickapig cried. The mouse, she'd heard a story told, a fierce young dragon, brave and bold. The dragon was known across the land. She gave up her kingdom to join a band. She sang her songs. She strummed her guitar. Her music was heard both near and far. But how, how, how did she go? How did she do it? How did she know to follow her heart against the tide? How did she do it? The young chickapig cried. There was a warrior from that land, but back before the dragon's band, I was about to say I didn't see the cow on the cow. It go woo. He was a chick pig just like you, filled with wonder and feeling blue. Tired of shields and swords to wield, he laid down his weapons and planted a field. The chick -a pig farm became all that he knew, with its crops and fields and cows that pooed, and birds and bees and horses and goats, and never a thought of castles or moats. Now, Joe, my child, I hope you will see, follow your dreams, whatever they be. And one day in the future, when you are old, your very own story just might be told. Oh, I came full circle. I hope little mm -hmm. Joe Chickapig follows his dreams. I hope there's a second book where he follows his dreams. I really do. Good night, kiddos. I hope you enjoyed.